today we are once again talking about Probstein and some of the shady things they do as a seller on eBay, at least in my opinion. We'll specifically talk about a Cristiano Ronaldo card that they listed quite poorly. It looks like it's deceptively. And I want you guys to help me unpack this today because it's, you know, not a good look at all. And especially when you look at them as being one of the leading, you know, brands within this industry. It's not, it's not acceptable that this stuff continues to happen. Now, this story does also intertwine into last week's topic on BGS and some of the updates they've made to their labels because it, it initially looked like the thing I'm about to show you was new, but it turns out it's not. Now, I had a friend of mine share this with me, the same person or one of the people, I should say, that shared information with me about the new Beckett labels last week. That video basically covered that Beckett now label things as aftermarket you know, autographs, which I think is a really good thing. One of the big things I've talked on this channel over the last few years is the number of fake cards that are having sticker autos placed on them that have gone to PSA, that have gone to BGS, and these companies would simply label them as, you know, trading card as an example. And that's a big problem because people would see, you know, a Steph Curry rookie card, it'll say trading card, it'll have a sticker auto, auto, auto on there, and they'll think, well, you know what, this is great. I'm going to crack it out and get a grade put on there. When in reality, that's not going to happen because the card's fake. And one of the big concerns we had with PSA in particular was that they kept labeling it as trading card. They shouldn't have touched it in the first place because the card was fake. They wanted to get that revenue. So they said it was a trading card. They took your money and were sort of, you know, screwing over customers down the line. People that didn't know better would buy one of those things and get burned. And that's obviously a big issue as a grading company because your name should mean something. So in those instances, it's not a good look. Now, in this case, BGS have not done that. They've said it is a reprint card. This Cristiano Ronaldo card is fake. Somebody printed it at home. They've said it was a reprint card, but the autograph is genuine. That's why they've gone ahead and done that. And I think that is a really good thing from them. And, and like I said, the person shared this with me because last week we saw that new thing with the aftermarket sticker autos. This also looked new, quickly looking at the cert date and the grading date. It's from 2022, so it doesn't look that new. They've been doing it from at least 2022. So, you know, it's not something that we should be focusing on for today's video, but it was good that he did in fact share this because we saw an issue with Probstead, or at least I did, that I want to talk with you guys on today. Now, I want to quickly say again, I still don't like the fact they're saying reprint on there, but that is a happy medium for me to take. These guys want to get paid as companies, so at least they're telling you it's fake. Now, somebody could crack it out and scam someone, whatever, um, and, and I still think that's a huge issue for these companies, but at least they're still saying it's reprint. And when I said whatever, I mean that... I'm not trying to downplay somebody scamming or anything like that. Now, like I just alluded to, the thing that I found quite interesting was you know, how Probstein went ahead and listed this damn card because they said, Cristiano Ronaldo signed 2003 Panini Sports Retro Auto BGS Baz Authentic, Baz being the authentication service for Beckett, which gave me a bit of a red flag. It piqued my interest a little bit because they said Panini over here when in reality, it's a reprint card. So Probstein... What the heck are you guys doing? Now, taking a look at the auction itself, I thought, okay, maybe there's going to be some wording in the description, or maybe the auction title has been updated to say that it is a reprint card. Again, no mention of reprint in the title, no mention of reprint in the description. But what these idiots have gone ahead and done is said the manufacturer is Panini. That's not the case, guys. I don't want this to go over, over anybody's head. It is a fake card. Panini was not the manufacturer. The manufacturer is you know, Joe Blow sitting in his mum's basement trying to scam people, right? It's not it's not Panini in this instance. So that is a, a big problem, in my opinion. And some of you guys will sort of see that and think Probstein has done this intentionally because they are a leading brand. How can that mistake happen? Now, I think the easy answer is that it's a, you know, low wage, minimum wage employee likely populating these things for Probstein. And that's how the mistake occurred. But that's not meant to downplay the situation or say that it's okay because it's not. And yes, some of you guys will also say, well, the image says it's a reprint card. So somebody, you know, might get scammed buying this, but you know, that's their own fault because they should be looking at the image. And yes, I completely agree with you, but again, that doesn't make it okay. What, you know, Probstein has done in this instance, they're meant to be one of the best things about this industry, right? They're one of the leading brands. This is not a mistake that should be happening, right? This is something that they should be getting right. You know, in my humble opinion, getting your listings done correctly as a consigner, as an auction house, is probably the most important thing you can be bloody doing, right? Because you're potentially screwing over a consignee in this particular instance. Let's say that you've got, and I'll give you an example. So let's say you've got, you know, two of these cards and they've actually mixed it up, right? So 
The reason why they haven't said reprint in the title is because the card that is currently being listed is not the reprint card. Or in that instance, you've screwed over that consignee because they're now going to get shortchanged because people are not going to bid as high because they're going to see the fact that it says a reprint card. Now, on the other hand, you've probably got people out there that are thinking, well, this is clearly a mistake. They've not said reprint, so I'm going to bid higher in this particular instance because the image is clearly incorrect. Now, obviously, that's a very dumb thing to be doing because you need to do your due diligence, but that's sort of the situation of where things are at. You know, that's not an okay thing to happen in either of those instances. You know, as a company, you need to be doing more to protect your name, especially when you are one of the leading brands within this bloody space. Like this stuff is so amateur, so childish that I I'm shocked that it continually happens. And, you know, when you look at it through that lens and you look at it through the lens of all the shield bidding that occurs on this platform, and again, this is nothing new. We've seen lots of issues like this in the past with Probstein, also with duplicate listings with the same serial numbers, all that kind of thing. When you look at all this stuff in aggregate, it almost looks like they're doing this intentionally, right? Because they want to try and maximize the amount of money they can be making. And me as a user of eBay, me as you know a buyer from Probstein here and there, I don't like seeing this at all. And it's not a good look, especially when you are a leading brand in this space. I keep repeating myself on that now, but that's you know a bloody important thing to emphasize because they are one of the leading companies within this space. The fact that these mistakes continue to happen is not okay. I've been talking about this for three bloody years now. You've got all this money that's come into this hobby, right? We've elevated it to new heights. This industry is booming, even though we're on a bit of a dip now compared to the pandemic era, it's booming. Yet you've got these companies, whether you are a grader, a manufacturer, you know, you know, auction houses, consigners, all these kind of thing, making amateur mistakes consistently, not giving us the value that we deserve as customers. This is not a mistake that an auction house, a consigner should be making. Yes, it is very simple. Yes, it likely relates to minimum wage employees. But again, have automation in place, have proper policies and procedures to get stuff like this right. Because you could have a consignee getting burned in the end by this. And that's not a good thing, right? That's not a good thing when your whole you know, branding, your whole purpose as a business is to maximize the profit for the people sending you their cards. That's just unacceptable, right? You're spending so much money with these companies, yet they keep dishing up crap like that. And some of you guys will say, this is a minor problem, get over it, Daniel, but it, speak, it speaks to a larger issue, right? One of the things I've talked to in the past as well is when giving this example and talking to these things is that it's the little things that you have to get right that build into making things better, right? If you want to be a really robust company and make sure that you're doing everything correct and, and do the, the hard stuff right, you need to do the you know easy stuff right too because that builds the, the confidence, right? That builds the structure, that builds... The standards. If your standards are slack enough to allow something as simple as that to, to let go and, and go wrong, what else are your standards letting slip that are more priority items? You know, things like shipping to the wrong customers. The same thing when it comes to graders and grading fakes and missing things and all that kind of stuff. If you're being really slack in certain areas that are really simple, that stuff aggregates and all of a sudden you're making bigger mistakes elsewhere that, that are costing people more money and, and, and burning people even harder than what you're doing in this one particular instance. So I just thought this would be an interesting one to talk to. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Guys, like I said, this initially started off as maybe doing a rehash of last week's topic when it came to the label change from BGS, but it looks like that reprint designation has been there for a long time. I think it's really good that Becca do that, but you know, without my friend sending me that, I wouldn't have realized that this eBay listing was structured the way that it was. And yes, it might be something super simple. And yes, nobody's really going to get scammed because buyers should be doing their due diligence, but it's more around what other issues are happening elsewhere that this is also maybe highlighting. But then at the same time, this is not a mistake that we should be seeing. So, you know, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.